Um, before uh, I, I mentioned uh, uh, educators and politicians, um, the reason why I think uh, it is uh, the technologists' uh, responsibility to frame and phrase uh, the challenges in a way that politicians can uh, understand and act upon in a desirable manner is because we have seen in the recent past what happens when this is not going that way. Um, uh, genetically modified foods no. in Europe, uh, stem cell research in the US have shown how harmful uh, a, a relatively uh, clumsy political intervention can become because it doesn't stop progress, it just deviates progress to less controllable environments uh, and it still arrives to, to your doorstep uh, uh, even if you supposedly don't want it. So um, uh, AIs and AGIs are the um, uh, the uh, Thank you. AIs and AGIs are the uh, fundamental subjects of the um, technological singularity, but uh, I don't think we are doing a good job enough to explain uh, their potential nature and and the ways they could impact the the world. Um, do you expect that there could be? a backlash against AI research uh, if it showed progress uh, and and given the examples that I gave would that make it more dangerous would it maximize negative outcomes instead of maximizing positive outcomes I think that um, uh, if there were well uh, I think backlashes against any technology are always possible. Um, successful suppression type backlashes are almost always impossible. And the uh, result of uh, suppression, I think, is usually of the sort that you described. That it 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 means that the uh, that the technology is confined to certain categories of elites. Or the military, uh, and it also it also means that the planning that is done with regard to the uh, progress is confined to um, self-appointed experts who, who who often are self-selected for incompetence. <laughs> um, I, I I think one thing that makes me hesitant to talk about planning is that we we don't know what is the most dangerous things I think we all know that there are things that could be extremely dangerous but we are not in a position to visualize the web of cause and effect that causes what to be dangerous when um, and uh, this I think could reduce some people to quivering non-action. It makes other people turn into being uh, uh, fanatical suppressionists. Um, I think that probably the most um, healthy and uh, correct approach is to be as inclusive as possible in um, bringing in the expertise of, uh, and the wisdom of all of humanity uh, in, in questions like this. And I think the uh, what is happening very naturally with the internet does that. That if you look at the world as a whole, we have we have six billion people. We have hundreds of millions of people who are connected. Of those, almost all of them are, are, are persons of goodwill. Many of them are highly intelligent, well-educated, and as an ensemble are, are, are a greater uh, uh, mass of wisdom and intelligence than any elite, e even even elites that really are elite because they're smart. Uh, what's out there with the web actually surpasses that in breadth and and in depth. And so I think that is the thing to depend on. 
and the and the and the web and the internet are providing that for us. And basically, Adam Smith and free markets uh, also play into that because that is a way that people um, vote with their own resources about what they think it, it, it is right. So uh, I, th I think the world is a very dangerous place. But the, the dangers are not just technological and they aren't just human. We were talking off camera about uh, the fact that the universe as a whole is a very dangerous place. So this doesn't change any of that, but it, I think that is the way that we can have the best chance to get through it. Thank you.